Okay, I'm going to show you how to use JMeter. So, step number one is to create a test plan, which when you load the program up, it does automatically. Next is to create a thread group. So you right-click, go to Add, Thread Users, Thread Group. This is the actual amount of uh, connections that JMeter will use. Next is to create an HTTP request sampler. And what this will do is imitate what your browser is doing whenever it visits a website. So you can see that JMeter supports multiple request types. You can do FTP, um, SMTP, SOAP, RML, uh, XPC. So you can do many different types. Um, for now, I'm just going to do HTTP requests. So first thing you got to do is define the host. So for this one, I'm going to use the BCCR website. This is our dev server. Pathway will be demo. Next, create a view results tree listener. What this will do is let you see the results as you're sending the requests. Next, you have view results and table. Aggregate report, graph results, spline visualizer. Now these are all listener types. They basically let you take the data you're getting and look at them different ways. Okay, now we're going to save our test plan. Hit the run button. Now you can see as the HTTP requests are sent. So this is only one thread, one request. So you can see all the information we see, HTTP headers that were sent. You can see the response from their server. And you can see the actual data. In this case, we can see the HTML and CSS. Now, if you want to do an actual load test, do number of threads to 5, ramp up period to 10. Now, the reason you set this is that it gives the Apache server and the MySQL database time to pre-cache some of the data. So this way, your server is not getting hammered immediately. It's actually giving time to cache some of the data behind. So I'm going to do a loop count of 100. Now we go back, hit the play button. Now you can see the requests getting sent right now to the dev server. Here's the threads viewed as a table. Now here's the interesting one. This is graphing the results. So we have multiple graph types. We have the data itself. We have the average, which is the blue. We have the median, purple here. Deviations, which as the server gets overloaded, you'll start seeing more deviations happening. And then the overall throughput, which you can see is the ramp up time here. So eventually this will plateau after 10 seconds. So you can see we're already having some deviations here. So we go back to the results tree. So what's happening is a lot of these deviations are probably once the Apache server and the MySQL database are starting to cache. So the deviations can be good or can be bad. Depends on the context. So we can see how many requests are actually going through. So we have, right now we have 120 per minute, which is pretty good. Number of samples done so far, so we have over 230 so far. So here's a really simple breakdown. Total requests sent, the average, median, etc. So you can see here the dev server is able to handle all these requests. So basically right now we're imitating is five people looking at the site and browsing it moderately aggressively. So if you wanted to imitate a real server load, what you could do is crank this number up to uh, 300, 400, 500. And this will imitate what the site's being done, what the site's having to handle as it's actually being used day to day. And you can get those results as far as how many simultaneous users we have from the uh, Google Analytics for the site. 
So you can see the throughput here is starting to level off a little bit. So we've already reached that 10 second mark. So it's staying pretty consistent. Again, you can see the time here. It's leveled off quite a bit, which is nice. So I'm going to stop the test early. And so you can export the results if you want to. Um, if you want to redo the if you want to redo the test, what you can do is you can click the clear all button here, and this will wipe all the results. So one of the interesting things you can do here too is you can actually put in uh, post data, so you can seduce form submissions. So you can imitate, um, you know, logging in, doing a search. You can also imitate uh, cookies. So for example, if you want to log in, you're gonna have to have a cookie, and you can actually do this here. If you want to do a complex search, you can use the post body. You can change the method here to you know whatever we need to be. And you can also imitate uh, AJAX requests. So you can actually change this right here would be the URL you're going to. So if you want to do mains login, that'd be the login screen. Or you can go to advanced search, so you can do searches on this. Uh, you can do a few more fine detail things like the connect period, the response time to wait out. So yeah, that's a um, basic overview of how uh, jQuery operates. So. Hope this helped you out.